Hi, this is Smart Friends presentation number two. Today we will cover the navigation functions in Smart Friends since most of them have changed substantially from the last presentation. So let's we'll just go right into it. So first on the list is the forward and backward navigation. What does that mean? It simply allows you to jump over the next you know thing in the buffer. If it's a word, it jumps over the word. If it's an expression, a paired expression it jumps over the paired expressions. The backward version is the same in just, just uh, reverse the direction. You can use the prefix argument with uh, uh, some numeric value. For example, to jump two expression forwards, you just do control two and forward. Now, if you are at the end of the list and you go forward, it will skip uh, skip over the closing closing the delimiter. So, if we go to this sort of linear list now it just jumps out of the enclosing list, same here. Uh, and also it works the same way in a backward direction, so backward and now it ju jumps out of the list, backward, backward, out, out of the list. Now the new thing that's that has been added recently is are the prefix commands, uh, and those basically allow you to choose what, sh what kind of object you want to operate on. So suppose we are in HTML, so let's jump to HTML buffer. Now you can see there are some tags and there are some pairs. And if you want to instruct smart prints to uh, jump over the next thing, so now it will jump over the square bracket. But if we want to use the tag, we can tell smart prints to use the tags with the prefix command and then go forward over the tag. The prefix commands uh, you can bind to any key and just use them as regular uh, Emacs prefixes. So I have written hyper T as tag and goes forward over the tag. Now if I go forward, it 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 uh, recognizes the the expressions normally. But if I want to use the tags from outside, y you can tell it to ignore the enclosing expression and just go right to the tag of course if there is some text and I go forward normally and now it's at the tag it will skip over the tag as you would expect uh, the second kind of object is a pair object where it, it will only use the pairs so if I am in front of the tag and I want to instead go inside the tag or just consider the uh, pointy brackets as a, as a pair, I can tell it to uh, use pairs and then if I go forward it will skip over the over the tag. S uh, same here, if I do pair and forward it will go over the pair. If I just use the, the normal navigation it ju jumps over the whole pair. And the last one currently implemented is the symbol object and that will simply only consider the individual words. So if I do symbol object go for symbol objects forward it will go to the for word completely ignoring any sort of structure. Uh, again it will go for backward or three whatever. So that's this is how you can fine tune the navigation even more if you are in in some sort of mode that allows sort of two types of of pairs like HTML you have the regular pairs and then HTML tags it's, it's very handy okay so let's go back to the to the last one this is Emacs Lisp again the next next function of course these I should mention that these prefix commands to select a specific type of the object, they work with all the commands, not just the forward and backward version, but with all the commands you will see now and in future future presentations. So the next previous command, that's again very simple, and uh, what it does is simply jump to the next object to the front. So instead of jumping over the expression, it jumps to the front of the expression. And now if there is nothing uh, to jump there is no expression in this list, it will go to the enclosing list at the beginning. So that's again expected 
because that's the next expression technically after after this one, so it goes to the beginning. Uh, of course, you can use again the numeric uh, the numeric argument to go over more expressions uh, with one sort of goal. And the previous that works the same way, only it, it goes to the end, as would be expected. Uh, so maybe we can show it in this more complex, uh, or this on this mo more complex form. So if I go next, next, and then each call to the next will just go one level up. Until now, the error form is the next one, and then if it will go up and up again. That's again very useful if you navigate this sort of uh, this sort of structure, uh, which is highly nested. Okay, uh, the next one on the list is up and uh, backward up expression. So that again would do what you would expect. It would just jump out of the enclosing list like this, or in the backward direction like this. Now the the cool new feature is that it will. Uh, fix the broken expression, the indentation, so if I now go up it will also kill the white space in, uh, let's see it again and the same thing works uh, in the forward direction so if I now go up expression the, the, the parent will just jump up a line and be correctly uh, formatted like in Lisp uh, and the same same with if you have more of them, you just do the same thing. And you can use the prefix argument again to jump two or more uh, at, uh, at the same time. So if I do prefix argument two and up backward, it will jump to the sort of beginning of this uh, condition. If I do forward version, it will jump to the uh, out of the condition. Okay. Next one on the list is the uh, down and backward down expre uh, sorry command. Now this has a lot of a uh, lot of uh, prefixes with special meaning. So let's do the first one. To, uh, if you just give it a number, or if you don't give it anything, you just go down one level. So down one level at and go to the front of the expression inside. Now if I give it a numeric argument, so let's say uh, 3, it will go down 3 levels. Now you can also g uh, give it a special argument, which I call row argument, and that's just control U, uh, if you have the standard uh, bindings. And then if you do control down, I'm sorry, uh, an expression down, it will go down as far as possible. So in this case we can go down 4 times, and then there is no other expression to go down to, so if we just do Control U and down, it will go down as much expressions as possible. If you just do something ridiculous like this, and I'm at the front and I do Control U down, it will go down as much as possible. Okay, uh, and then there's the double row argument, and that will simply jump to the front of the current expression, like this. So. If I now go down, it would normally go to the minus 4 form, but if I give it the double prefix argument, control U, control U, and down, it will go to the front of the current expression. And this is something that's universal in smart prints. If you, if you give some comment a double row prefix argument, it will operate on the enclosing list. So in this case, if I do control U, control U, smart prints will assume that I want to run the next comment on the enclosing list. So that means go go down to the enclosing list, which is the equal form. So it will go down to the beginning. And of course, all of this works in the backward direction, which is just it just goes like in the opposite 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 direction. And we can do I don't know if I do Control U, Control U, and then end of the expression, it will go. I mean backward down, it will go to the end. Uh, maybe you can show it here. So control shift A, control shift A. Right now, and this is okay. Okay, here is a 
nice example where maybe it will be uh, better seen. So if I go now down expression, there's nothing to go down to, so it will automatically assume the enclosing expression and go to the front. If there is something to go down to, it will by default go inside it. But if I give it, give it the double prefix argument, it will go to the uh, go to the start of the enclosing expression. And this one, this is the newest one implemented beginning of the expression, end of expression, so that's actually uh, in the default version of this command that's just a shortcut for the control u, control u and down as seen above, so it goes to the beginning or to the end of the expression which is sort of really handy, but now let's say I want to go to the insert race form, so I can do prefix 5 and then go to the beginning of the expression and it will jump to the front of the fifth expression after the after the one the point is in. So let's try it again with number 4 now oops I guess or 3 and down and of course the same thing works if I, if I want to go to the end I can do control 5 and then go to the end of the expression it will go after the race or oh, I keep hitting the wrong keys. Four, a, there we go. And of course, you can give it the the row prefix argument, and in this in in that case, it will jump to the beginning of the enclosing list, but one level up. So this means to the left. The rational is so that you. Basically, the control u argument means do the thing as many times as possible. I again, this is universal for all the commands. So, in this case, it means uh, go down to the expression on this this level, but to the f furthest possible. And so that's the that's the one that's enclosing the the whole the whole list. And then there is the okay. And then there are the functions to select things, which are not really navigation functions, but uh, sort of similar. So let's see what we can do. We can simply select the next expression, and it will highlight the, exp like, set a selection on it. And it works with the prefix argument as well, which means select that many items. Now if you, if, if we are, let's say here, and I want to select everything up until the end of the enclosing list, so I can use Control u argument again, which means do the thing as many times as possible and in this case that means you know up until the end of the enclosing list so if I then kill kill this selection it won't break it's the, the, the structure it, it, it's still balanced uh, let's see now we are inside the prog so it selects everything up until the end of that form and of course if we want to select the whole enclosing expression we can use the double prefix argument control u control u and select and we'll select the enclosing expression and again the it's the same as we down expression it will simply tell smart friends to operate on the enclosing expression now there's a special feature if I already have a selection active and I just do select again it will sort of reselect the insides of the expression. So if you want to quickly select insides of a form, you can do control U, control U, select, select, and you have everything inside the expression selected as a region. So that's the select thing. Uh, if you have some comments or if you find bugs, issues, anything, just uh, go to the GitHub page and uh, post it there. Okay, thanks and uh, take care.